What's up sales pros? This is Larry the Mortgage Guy, your sales instructor. And today I'm talking about group posts. What to post, what not to post, right? We'll make it real quick. Now first of all, if you found a, a group you're lucky enough to uh, want to be a part of, what I mean by that is if they have the type of clients or customers that you're looking for, the type of people you're looking for, great. Don't mess it up. Don't join the group and start advertising and spamming and adding people and such. That's a quick way to get deleted and blocked. And if you do that, it really sucks. Trust me, I've been through it before. I'm still trying to get back into groups that I've been kicked out of, okay? Uh, that's the first rule. Second rule is, or second uh, tip is, don't ask a question or post something until you search the rest of the post. What I mean by that is if you have a question or you have a sp uh, particular post that you want to post, make sure it wasn't posted like last or yesterday or last week. You know, a month off maybe you can get away with that, but you know, there's no need to rehash or repeat or you know, uh, basically uh, plagiarize someone else's post. You're not going to get a lot of positive engagement, especially if people, uh, if there's a lot of regulars there, right? Uh, speaking of which, if you want your post to get more value and get more oomph, uh, add friends to your group. Uh, meaning, uh, if you're in a group that you believe your friends can belong to and be a part of, add them because they will actually get alerts when you post something. And if, you know, if they're a good friend and they agree with what you say, they should give you some engagement and likes and therefore, uh, give you a little bit more weight in the group. Also, if you didn't notice, when you post or when you comment or whatever, a post actually goes back up. So if you have a post that's going down, you can bump it, right? That's what they call it, they call it bump it, right? So uh, you actually kind of strategize and time your post. So let's say you have like two or three posts that you want to kind of bump. You can actually, you know, uh, let me comment this one, let me comment that one, and then it'll actually push it up a certain way, okay? Uh, that's how you should really look at the way posts work. Now, one of my favorite things about posts is finding content, okay? People post things and you can actually repeat it onto your own page now, or into another group. Now, don't plagiarize someone and be careful about screenshotting someone's post. You know, you don't want to do that, especially if it, it was meant to be private in a group post, okay? But it's a good place to find content that you can share yourself. Okay, uh, a specific one would be memes, right? I mean, and this is the thing, I, should, I probably should have talked about memes when I talked about digital assets. Memes are a form of digital assets. And if you like memes and you save memes and you collect memes, you understand the concept of a digital asset. That's what these groups are good for, okay? And again, you're also gonna get more engagement uh, and, and such on a group, okay? Hopefully that helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, uh, give me a call, text me, email me, whatever you like. This is Larry the Morgan Guy, I'm out.